When we started Chapter 5, we were met with an absolute tsunami of content. Not only did we get a completely new map, but we also got three other modes. Rocket Racing, the Main Stage Festival, and of course, LEGO Fortnite. Now, what if I were to tell you that there is a hidden lore behind all of this, and how it all incorporates back into the Fortnite storyline? But before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe so we can hit our goal of 600 subs. We gotta start where it all began, in Battle Royale. Well, storyline-wise, at least. Because, it, I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going on here, but I feel like there's even more at play. This, this whole storyline of the society versus the underground, it seems just way too sort of cliche, and I feel like there's something else that's at play here, something that we've, well, seen before. Because if we go back to Chapter 2, Season 2, all right, we had Midas and his agency at Ghost, right? They were fighting Team Shadow. And technically, the underground, they're kind of in the shadows, so I feel like they are a good representation of the Shadow organization. Meanwhile... The society is a good representation of Ghost, considering that the, it's gold, you know, that Midas is also gold, that I also have the yacht and all that. But, as we also remember in Chapter 2, Season 2, there was something else that was at play that people didn't really understand until the end of the season, talking about the Device Live event, why that event took place, had absolutely nothing to do with Ghost versus Shadow. It had everything to do with Ghost versus the I.O. And another thing is that, hey, no one's been speaking. Anyone else notice the uncanny lack of sort of like voice quests or weekly quests that have a like character talking? We've had it for several seasons on end, like starting in chapter three. The I.O. could be back. I mean, we'd have no way of of confirming or denying this statement. But I'm just saying it's a pretty big possibility since we theoretically ended up rebooting the storyline. All right, we after Chapter 4, Season 4, we went back all the way to Chapter 1 where the I.O. was really lurking in the shadows and, you know, whatnot. But then in Chapter 2, so the chapter following Chapter 1 is when the I.O., really really started to kick off and again one of the reasons like the reason that no one can speak is because the io basically speech impaired everybody now this leads me to think that the io is on the island and that they are the ones with control of the zero point it'll explain everything it explains the similarities between the between ghost and the society a little bit more because we know that both of those organizations really wanted the zero point for whatever reason we did not realize what they were honestly doing they wanted control of the island where ghost wanted to push back the storm and free the loop which of course they wanted to get the zero point because if you end the loop then yeah now that we've completely broken down the battle royale's deeper storyline let's move on to lego fortnite now a lot of people didn't originally think that this would have anything to do with the story like of course it has been like confirmed that fortnite battle royale canon is seen in lego the lego fortnite universe and it pretty much helps back up my theory that the io are on the map and that they're the ones who are really in control in battle royale because we can see io buckers everywhere in lego fortnite so maybe the io have like expanded operations well i mean they definitely have from um, not just Battle Royale, but also to Lego Fortnite, managing the people on that universe, on that island. It's. I feel like there might be also be a separate Lego Zero Point for all we know. Lore, I'm just going to put it out right now that, let's face it, Fortnite Festival does not have any lore at all. Now, finally, time to talk about the Rocket Racing lore. As we can see, Rocket Racing is located in like, the desert, like the canyons. Looks like it's located in the Grand Canyon a lot. Like You can see that it's all these, like, orange rocks and whatnot that are there now we've had desert pois on the fortnite battle royale islands there was one in chapter three however i feel like the one that this one matches a bit more is the one in chapter one because just the, the shade that because the the rocks in uh chapter one were actually a little bit of it had a darker tint than the ones in chapter three and that happens to match the to the rocks and uh, rocket racing 
And I'm starting to think that the home reality from which the desert was yoinked in season five, that might actually be where Rocket Racing is located. I mean, we did see that it was uh, pulled from our island, you know, in real life, like Earth. But I'm starting to think that that's not the case. There could be different versions of Earth. I'm sure there are different versions of Earth in the Fortnite canon. That the when that drift got pulled away from, that is just a different version of Earth. One with all these cannons everywhere, and one with like a racing event and whatnot. So I feel like maybe the Zero Point could have just pulled some more, you know, desert and whatnot away. But something I found really interesting though is that the flip side, you know, loading screen that was released during chapter three it shows the chapter two island at top and then on the bottom it shows this desert -y, like chapter three island now we know that the desert in chapter three was not nearly this exaggerated that it did spread out across the entire like southern border of the island so i'm confident that this is rocket racing land that it was just underneath like this um alternate version of chapter two this whole time that frankly this rocket racing thing is that that reality has been with us for a lot longer than you may think well anyway that's gonna be it for today's video make sure you like and subscribe so we can hit our goal of 600 subs and of course i will see you in the next one peace